I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute for Thursday, August 8th. Soybeans and corn both ended the session lower, continuing to keep an eye on development weather. Temperatures are mild in much of the region, but parts of the Midwest and Plains did see an expansion in drought conditions over the past week, so more rainfall will be needed in some key U.S. growing areas. USDA's updated supply, demand, and production numbers are out on the 12th, and that will include acreage and possibly yield adjustments. Wheat closed lower, watching spring wheat development weather and late winter wheat harvest activity. Weekly export sales for wheat were below a week ago, but the overall demand has improved with smaller crops globally due to some world weather issues. Live and feeder cattle were lower, watching direct cash cattle business. There was some light trade during the session, but it looks like most of the week's business has been done already. Trade this week has been $2 lower to a dollar higher on the live basis and down $5 for dressed. Box beef was lower at midday, adding to the pressure. And hogs were down with the recent lower trend in pork, down again at midday on Thursday. With the closing market minute for Thursday, August 8th, I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins.